Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi everyone, we're going to um, talk about upper body spiral today. So when we think about initiating spiral or rotation in the body, we can do it from the rib cage spine, right, or the pelvis legs. And so we're going to break that down today and think of initiating from the upper body. So I'm going to have a seat, and this is based off of um, an Ermgard Bartinius exercise that you may have seen before, but clients really love it, and I, I enjoy teaching it because it helps them find sequential rotation, and it's a really nice fascial release, release and lengthening. So you're going to be in your X here on your mat with the arms extended to the top corners and the feet to the bottom corners. And we're going to start with just bending one elbow, finding the collarbone of that same side, tracing the palm across the body. And then you want to start to reach those fingertips up the opposite arm. The head gaze can turn, and that's going to start to pull my pelvis, spine, rib cage into rotation. Watch that your clients, some of them, if they're really tight or they're not quite sure what they're doing, they'll bring that top leg and stack it on the bottom leg. But you want that top leg reaching in opposition because that's where you're getting the nice stretch. And then to come out of it, you just lengthen that back leg down, trace the palm along the bottom arm all the way across the body and back to start. So once again, if you bend the elbow, press across the collarbones, start to bring the gaze and roll the head with the arm reaching and that pulls you onto that side. Feel the length from the fingertips through the same side toes and then I lengthen through that back leg to start to bring me back into my starting position. So we're initiating from the upper body, but eventually, right, it's full bodied rotation. And you can start or end a class this way, and it can be really nice just to connect the dots and get people in their bodies as they head into class or as they're walking out the door. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.